Hi everybody and welcome back to Lush Topia where we talk about all things Lush. So today I have a Lush haul for you guys. Well I'm saying it's a Lush haul. It's only two products but they're very exciting products and it is the Lush Labs Shower Slime product. So I ordered these on Monday, today is Wednesday. I'm going to try and get this video up today for you guys. I've just finished my work and came home to this. Um, but I know a lot of people are still very undecided on if they want to purchase these. They don't know if they're going to be too thick. They don't know how the scents are going to be. So I thought I would quickly run through these with you guys um, just in case there's anybody who's still undecided so you can get exactly what he's want just now. Um, I was going to keep this video for the weekend but I thought there is no time like the present so we will just jump straight on into these two shower slimes. So I'm going to roll up my sleeves a bit for this. I also have a little bowl of water down here and a dishcloth just in case this gets messy because I think it probably will get messy. I also have my phone here um, just so I can read things um, like the ingredients and stuff like that. So we'll start off with the yellow one. This one is called Burr. So I paid £12 for this. The description says, I said Burr, it's cold in here, there must be some spearmint in the atmosphere. Keep it chill with the sunshine blast of chilly menthol, we've combined the fun of slime with everything you love about a shower gel and came up with a brand new innovation. Made with liberal amounts of corn flour, this slime will leave your skin feeling silky as well as gently cleansed. So, the ingredients in this, there's not too much in this. Um, there's pretty much just spearmint oil. There's corn flour for the thickening, and that's pretty much it really. Um, there's not really too much else in here. So. This is the one that I didn't think that I was going to like because I don't like overly minty smells but I have had a quick smell of it and I actually do kind of like the smell. Look at that, can you see that? Slime dangling there. Oh. So, this smells like just a spearmint chewing gum. Pretty much, I'm going to try and show you without Making too much of a mess. I'm scared. Right, so go. Oh, weird. Right, so I'll keep that wee bit in my hand. So this is what it looks like. It's a very, very sticky, sticky texture. It is very, very sticky. But yeah, it is very, very thick. Here. Oh, it's so strange. Don't recommend that you do this in a room with carpet, even though I've got carpet in this room, but for the sake of the video, if it gets messy, it gets messy. So that is the texture of it. It is a very, very minty. It's not overly minty. Um, it's not like... It's not like a, a cooling, like see when you smell minty smells and it gives you that cooling sensation. It's not that minty, this is more, I don't know, it kind of smells like banana minty, but I don't know if I'm only smelling bananas because it's yellow, because that is a possibility. But anyway, I'm going to put the lid back on this tub here and I'm going to wash this off my hand. I'm actually really glad that I brought that bowl of water in. It says how to use. It's always best to get a little messy before you get clean. Scoop into your hand and squidge away. And when you're ready to wash, lather up on wet skin and rinse off for a brand new take on showering. So I was quite concerned that this would like clog the drains and stuff. But look how weird that looks. This will be amazing for Halloween. Can you imagine how? I think they're definitely going to come out with a lot more of these. Um, a lot of different colours. I was quite surprised that they only came out with the two colours. Right, hold on right now. Right, so it's not coming off. My hands are the easiest. You do really need to kind of 
scrub your hands to get it off, to be honest with you. Which obviously isn't a problem if you're in the shower. But I'll just show you quickly. Try not to get that on my phone. It does create some very nice bubbles. So I'll just dry my hands here and we'll move on to BAM. BAM I was really kind of looking forward to um, because I think that's more of like a, a tropical description. So we'll move on to BAM. Again, this was £12. The description of this, it says, BAM, we've combined the fun of slime with everything you love about a shower gel. It came up with a brand new innovation. Get your own back on long, weary days with this tropical blend of zingy lime oil and vibrant orange oil. It's sure to leave your skin awake and refreshed. A splash of fresh lime juice cleanses the skin beautifully and adds that juicy, thirst-quenching fragrance. So, again, just the how to use is the exact same. The ingredients in here, there is... Fresh lime juice, lime oil, sweet orange oil, olibamum resinoids, and then that's pretty much for the scents. So we'll just go ahead again, open this up and see what it looks like on the skin. I've cut myself from my work here and it's stinging right now, it does not like sugar jelly. So this I do, I think I prefer the smell of this. This it smells to me. Did you ever have the, when I was a child I would go to the shops and you would get like tiny little bubble gums but you would get them in like a big strip and it would be all these round bubble gums that you would just kind of pop out one as you wanted, it was probably about this length. This is what this smells like to me. I hope you guys know um, what I'm talking about, if any of you stay in the UK you can let me know in the comments down below if you know what bubble gums I'm talking about. So. We'll go ahead and we'll tip some out so you can see. Ooh, this one seems a bit thicker, I think. So that is the colour on the skin. Mm, I do think this one is a bit thicker to be honest with you. Yeah, you definitely get a nice tropical fragrance for this. I don't get like a citrusy scent though. I just get like a kind of mixture of tropical. Because usually I don't like... Oh, where am I going with? I don't usually like straight up lime, lemon type of scents. But this just smells different. So I'll wash this off my hands as well. And again with this you've got to scrub. Like, this is so fun, like I can see them maybe bringing this out as part of, see the, the Lush parties that they've brought out recently. I could see them doing pretty well in that. I could see them doing really, really well at Halloween um, with all their bright colours, maybe a glow in the dark one, you never know. Um, but yeah, I think this is definitely going to appeal to like, the younger generation. But as I said, I wasn't actually going to buy these, but I thought because it is a totally new product that of course I had to have it. I think that they've came out with more than these two scents. I thought that I came out with at least four or five but I did see on Instagram that I think it was Gary Shears who invented these. Um, he says that they did take a long time to get you know perfect in his opinion. So maybe that's how they only came out with the two. They just wanted to put it out there see if people were actually going to buy them and um, because obviously they don't want to make like a lot of these if no one's going to be interested and you can see that not a lot of people would be interested in showering in slime but because it's lush obviously I had to have it and I know a lot of you guys were interested in this as well 
Um, if he's went over to my Instagram, you'd have seen that I did talk about this slightly on there. So yeah, that is a quick review of these two. If you want any more in-depth reviews of these, um, you can let me know in the comments down below. This is more of like a, a rushed kind of video just to get it out there for you guys. Um, just to give you a quick kind of look on these two products in case you are looking to buy them before they go out of stock completely. I'll just have a little check, make sure they're still available online. Yep, BAM is still available and BRU is still available as well. So if you want any of these products, then you can still purchase them online right now. So if you want them, go just now and get them because they probably will go out of stock pretty soon. But if you want to see any demos of these or like a kind of in-depth review of these, just can let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do that for you guys. I think the way I'm going to use these is, instead of using them as a shower product, I'll probably use them as a bath cocktail product. Um, so if you want to see me use them in a cocktail, then you can let me know in the comments down below as well. And I'm sure I can come up with something good to use in my bath alongside these. So yeah, that is today's video. So that is it from me today guys. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this quick video on the Lush Labs release of this month. As I said, I'm kind of disappointed that it was only these two fragrances, but I'm sure they will come out with more. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day as always, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.